countdown is on for Astro's second launch of the year. The final checks are being carried out and shortly the launch vehicle is expected to lift off from the Satish Dhawan space station in Sri Harikota. It is carrying 36 satellites belonging to the British company called OneWeb Communications. The company says today's launch is a key part of the cooperation between Indian and British space industries. OneWeb has signed a deal with Astro's commercial wing to place 72 satellites in low Earth orbit. This will be the sixth flight for LVM-3 or launch vehicle Mark III, which has been described as ISRO's heaviest vehicle. My colleague Shripapanch is live with us. Shripapanch, good morning. Countdown underway. All eyes on India's LVM-3 launch with 36 OneWeb satellites today. And it is said that it is operating at an altitude of 1,200 kilometers above the planet. Good morning to you. We come to you live from Sri Harikota, Satish Dhawan Space Center of Indian Space Research Organization. And exactly at 9 o'clock uh, today, the ISRO will be launching LVM-3 launch vehicle Mark 3, which was earlier known as the GSLV, uh, commonly known as GSLV. But today uh, we could see that LVM Mark 3 will be launching 36 satellites. These are one web satellites which will be launched in the circular orbit at around 450 kilometers uh, at an altitude and this the duration of this flight will be 19 minutes and 17 seconds so we could see after 19 minutes uh, the separation of satellites will be starting now there are three stages of this rocket now uh, the solid state uh, solid fuel stage then the uh, uh, which will be the initial stage and then it will be taken over by the liquid stages and final maneuvering will be done by cryogenic state now the one web satellite are in fact uh, completing their constellation of 616 satellites satellites today. Now earlier we saw 17 launches were conducted by OneWeb out of which second launch is being conducted over uh, here at Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. Earlier uh, a similar launch was done by OneWeb in the month of October last year. Now this is the second time ISRO is launching uh, in fact a set of uh, satellites for one web and these are the second set of satellites uh, 36 satellites will be launched today and once they uh, in fact reach the spot they will be forming a constellation which will provide high speed internet connectivity with the low latency so this is what the aim and the objective of one web is and they are trying to provide this high speed internet connectivity even to the remotest locations with low latency by the end of this year so we could see it's a global connectivity is what they are trying to achieve over here and for of which uh, we are seeing the final part of the constellation, the final part of uh, the 616 satellites that are being sent, uh, are being sent by ISRO today. And this is the second set of satellites that are being launched by ISRO. Uh, in, in fact, we could see that a commercial arm of ISRO, that is New Space India Limited, is in fact uh, having uh, 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 MOU signed with the, in fact, uh, the one web. And in, based on that, we could see that, that in fact, LVM3 is used used as a commercial vehicle. Now, earlier we can see that it was launched by, by using LVM-3 last time at around October last year. Now, this is the second time LVM-3 is used for commercial operations. Now, this shows the reliability and capability of the ISRO for using the heaviest rocket for such commercial operations. Absolutely, she And this is a historic moment indeed for ISRO. This would be the second launch in 2023 after the successful launch of SSLV D2 mission in February. That's right. SSLV is a small rocket that was launched and that will be commercially used. In fact, PSLV and SSLV will be used commercially in the coming days. And we could see that this particular LVM, which is the launch vehicle Mark III, was earlier used to launch the Chandrayaan missions. And we have we've seen that high payload capacity vehicle, this GSLV vehicle was launched earlier. Already five, six successful launches, five successful launches have been taken place earlier. Now, this is the sixth launch of this particular vehicle and this modified version of this vehicle only will be used for the Gaganyan missions also. So, we could see that such launches are increasing the reliability and capability of this particular vehicle which will be later used. A similar vehicle will be later used for Gaganyan missions. So, we could see this particular vehicle, the LVM Mark III, is one of the reliable and most heaviest vehicle that, in fact, ISRO has, which is used for launching the heavy payload uh, from the Indian space.